Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Great having you guys here. I'm feeling extremely excited because I bought a strap and this is, look guys, you know, as you guys being with me on this channel for a little while, you know I'm a massive fan of the first gen of the old uh, baby tuna that Seiko used to make and certainly they discontinued. Um, there are many of them that has been very, very popular in the community. Of course, this is probably the most popular, one of the most popular one. Uh, the model number is SRP639, and we call this the Yellowfin Tuna. Uh, absolutely beautiful watch from a design and a construction standpoint. Um, I love this watch, and especially I miss a tuna because my SBBN tuna is actually we say called boutique as well uh, for a new dial because I just uh, wasn't happy with a couple of specs that I then found on that SBBN 043 Bluna uh, the dial of it so that's in the boutique for uh, for repair I believe it's going to take at least two to three weeks as the dial will be imported from uh, Japan so I'm missing the tuna but you know what while the SBN is gone even though that is a proper quartz 300 meters diver but this baby tuna definitely feeling his shoe fine i'm telling you guys this is a such an iconic piece uh the color the yellow dash of yellow just plays amazingly uh, with that shroud and you guys know i'm a bracelet monster i've got this 22 straight end link uh uncle straps a visa ride bracelets i'm loving it I like the construction of it. As you guys know, this watch used to be on uh, Uncle Strap Oyster bracelets, which, guys, to be fair, it's nothing in compared to the Bisa Rise bracelet that Uncle Strap makes. So, guys, just a quick tip: if you wanna if you wanna buy a bracelet with the 22 millimeter sh um, straight end link from Uncle Strap, um, look into the Bisa Rise bracelet first, or get one of those. It is a bit the Bizzle Ride bracelet is probably the number one bracelet and as well as the Jubilee that just works with any timeless classic design of sports watches. Absolutely beautiful. But you know what? I like that yellow on the bezel. And I hope that I can find a way to bring that yellow dash out even more to make it pop. With that yellow second hands as our as well as the hourly hands. And here we are. Amazon came in for help. So I bought this Alpine. This is how tremendous Amazon is in terms of their delivery and services. Alpine, um, actually, I think I bought the last one, at least in Australia. This one cost me 23 bucks, Aussie dollars. That's converts to about 15 bucks of US. I mean, having a meal with McDonald's or KFC is going to cost you that more than that nowadays. So, you know what? The the, the color definitely caught my eyes. They have tons of colors, all different kinds of um, uh, width. This is, the, of course, the 22 millimeter. And with the spring bar already uh, built into it, very good reviews. Of course, my hope is not extremely high considering how much money that I've spent. But um, I'm looking forward to the combo of that yellow um, the yellow strap on a on a beautifully uh, a yellow um, sort of bezeled uh, sports watch. So guys, let's check it out. Now this is this is how I received the package. I actually already wanted the strap for a little bit <laughs> early on today, but I thought I want to show you guys exactly what it turns out with. So uh, the package actually arrived uh, in this manner. So guys, look it up. Alpine again. This is not a sponsored video. If you guys have that questions in mind, okay, I've got nothing to do with this company, um, but um, it's a, it's a lovely strap. A uh, couple impressions first, very soft. Uh, look, guys, I, I'm not a strap monster. Uh, all the straps that I have are Seiko OEM straps, but from a first impression perspective, gosh, it is a very short. I just noticed that right now, actually, guys. So if you have a you know, more than seven and a half inches. Uh, well, you know what? Amazon has amazing return policy anyway. So for all the uh, uh, big risk um, hobbies out there, if, if this is too short, just return it, right? But again, this is the only piece that come with it. I understand there's some other straps that they sold that come with two, one short and one longer version. But this is the only one that come with it. Uh, very soft. I like the keeper. Very well constructed, but at the same time, very light very soft on the surfaces even though we stole those um the design of it the texturized 
uh, servers or well, he's actually got the Alpine on the back as well so it definitely feels doesn't feel that cheap I mean I'm not a again I'm not a strap expert but if you want me to put a price on it I would say 50 bucks or 35 40 US is fair around 50 bucks or the dollars or 60 but again for 23 dollars I'm a happy man so let's put it on of course uh, just to cover a couple aspects of the strap we'll talk about the buckles nice guys it is not cheaply made Standing still, we've got a branding over there, uh, 22 millimeter specs, and that's the model name S2800. Now let's put it on. Uh, again, just for you guys' information, a lot of I understand a lot of my, a lot of my subscribers actually have a baby tuna of this generation as well. But again, the baby tuna mainly comes on a rubber strap or a um, a monster style bracelet, as far as I'm concerned. So, if you guys are looking at your bracelet game, you want to upgrade it to a, a Visa Rise bracelet. This is how it looks. Again, there's not a tons of um, uh, inspirations from Instagram for this watch. There's tons of there's tons of um, community following for sure, but there's just not a tons of photos uh, from the users on a bracelet. But this is how it looks. So, if you guys are interested in how it looks. This is how it looks. It looks amazing, okay? But let's bring the strap uh, onto the watch and and we'll see how it will be. So just taking a... There you go. That's the Uncle Sickle. Bees arise. Now, when it comes to fitment, when it comes to that watch, of course, you guys know Uncle Seiko, so excuse me, not Uncle Seiko, of course, Uncle Seiko adapts, but Seiko divers use two and a half millimeter diameter fat spring bar, which I'm a big fan of. Just give you a sense of security than, than everything else, but of course, the straps, uh, this one doesn't. The OEM Seiko strap does, that you can fit the whole two and a half millimeter fat spring bar throughout the hole but of course this one doesn't so this is look how tiny this is guys so when you guys complaining we won't have people out there saying Seiko always got corners in everything they do nothing they do satisfy the quality of our needs think again I mean if they didn't care about how the spring bar they could have just saved money think about how many watches they make to give you a proper one okay without the way let's put it on too much talking Felix okay so we're gonna get that uh, there you go so that's goes this one goes near so again quick quick adjustment I'm already feeling less sense of security so you can see because it is a proper diver which feed the two and a half millimeter sh uh, fat spring bar so this one is going to give you a bit of movement simply because the diameter of that hole cut out is a lot wider than than this spring bar anyway let's just put it on and see how it turns out okay guys beautiful all righty let's have a look What do you guys reckon? Is it too much yellow? Actually, you know what? This uh, this this will play very nicely. Yellow on yellow. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. So this is how it looks, and um, let's put it on to see whether it's too much yellow or plays nicely with the design of the watch. There we go. <laughs> First impression, I guess, guys, again, for not a whole lot of money, it's a good buy. You know, 20 bucks, if he can get it for 20 bucks again, again, this is purely to illustrate how the strap looks on your watch. And even though I'm a massive bracelet, uh, you know, I have a passion for bracelet. I spend I spend almost a thousand bucks on different bracelet altogether. But don't again. I'm gonna back to the philosophy that I talk about watches. Don't think that you have an opinion that somehow your opinion is more important than anyone else's. 
If other people like straps, use straps. If you like bracelet, use bracelet. But why not change it up? Give it a different feeling, give it a different vibe. And I like it. Very sporty again. I think what this strap does really well, uh, especially with this combo, is because the baby tuna has a very long luck to lug, right? So we're looking at. Um, just be with me, guys. Sorry. Because we're looking at. Uh, Sorry, this is not, I'm just going to reset this. There we go. Because these, here's the thing, right? The, in essence, baby tuna are big boys. If you're putting additional metal, and especially if you're buying, because as you see, guys, the beauty of these bracelets as well is, um, because how short the lock the lock is, the rest of the bracelet literally fall straight away. Doesn't push you out at all. Hence why I think this is a great bracelet in styles like this. But also the strap as well. Because the lock the lock is long. With that strap that falls straight to wrap up your wrist. It sits really well. Extremely. I'm not going to say it's tight. But you know what? I remember when I had straps like this on Turtle. Which is... Again, not a small watch, but less in luck to luck distance. Then the watch is gonna wobble a bit more on your wrist now because how massive this baby tuna is. It sits tight. All right, guys, I'm not gonna hold uh, too much of your time, but um, I'm loving them. I'm gonna leave on a strap, and of course, in the future, we can always put on the back on a bracelet. All right, guys, thank you so much for your support. I thank you from the bottom of my heart, and no doubt, I'll see you guys shortly again. Bye-bye.